In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of yellow jackets or hornets in your yard in a way you've probably never seen. This yellow jacket nest was built inside a stone wall, so I figured using a torch would be easy. I put the end of it in and pulled the trigger, and I kept that flame and gas going in there for a few minutes, and it definitely started to smoke things up, and I thought for sure I'd wipe the nest out. But within a couple of days, they were back, and I really couldn't believe it. I stuck a rag in there, lit it on fire, I tried to smoke them out, and then finally I tried using one of these sprays, and I dumped the entire can inside that hole. But then just a couple of days later, the nest was back in full operation again, and I finally figured out what was going wrong. I was never reaching the nest itself. Now, when you see a nest that's up in a tree or under the eave of a house, you can blow that thing away, and you're sure it's gone. But when they build a nest underground or in a wall like this, it's so far inside that pretty much nothing is going to reach it. Except for one thing, the yellow jackets themselves. So if we could put down a control that would get on the yellow jackets, they'd carry it to the nest and back and forth and ultimately wipe it out. And this is the secret weapon, it's called Demand Duo, and you've seen me use this in other videos for things like ants and spiders, but it's also really effective on hornets and things like yellow jackets. If you have a lawn sprayer like one of these, you can go ahead and use it, but if you don't, you can use a small pump sprayer like this. Normally that little bottle is great because it mixes up with one gallon of water exactly, but here we're not going to need nearly that much, and I'm only adding 24 ounces of water to the sprayer. And with that little water, we only need to add six milliliters of Demand Duo. Now an easy way to measure that amount is to use a little cup like this. This is one of the ones that came with my kids Tylenol. Now once you've got your six milliliters mixed up, you can just pour that in the sprayer, screw the top on tightly, give it a good shake, and now you're ready to go. Now the difference in Demand Duo is it does two things. It'll kill insects on contact, but it also leaves a residue that can actually work outdoors for up to 30 days. And anytime they touch those surfaces, they're going to carry it into the nest and ultimately wipe it out. And try to get it into the open in itself, because yellow jackets and hornets can't fly right into the nest. They've got to land, and then they're going to crawl their way in, and that's when they're going to make contact with the demand duo, and you're going to wipe them out. Another reason to consider doing this is you will save money. If you call a pro, they're going to spray the exact same stuff, and they can charge you as much as 200 bucks. By the next morning, I didn't see anything except for an occasional yellow jacket going in or out, and that quickly ended because they were obviously getting wiped out by the product as well. Anytime you work around a stinging insect, there's always a risk of getting hurt, and I can't tell you what's safe or what isn't in your particular situation, so make up your own mind if this is something you even want to consider doing. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.